welcome to our Founders Day Ceremony 2021. This is the first time that we are doing this in such a manner. So ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the National Anthem of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. Please remain standing as we open this morning's ceremony with a word of prayer. Could we bow our heads? Father, we thank you that we can come together as an association once again to celebrate Founders Day. We bless you for the scout skills and the knowledge we have developed over the years. Give us understanding in all that we do and grant us the courage to always do our best. Bless our country and our leaders. In your name we pray, amen. Amen. You may be seated. Chief Scout, President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, Her Excellency Paula May Weeks, National Scout Commissioner, Mr. Mark Ainsley John, Deputy National Scout Commissioner, Operations, Retired Lieutenant Commander, Kirk Ja Batiste, Deputy National Scout Commissioner Program, Dr. Jorel Bisnat. San Fernando District Commissioner, Mr. Lindy Lachmedial. International Commissioner, Mr. Keston Woodruff. Headquarters Commissioner, Venture Scouts, Mr. Kushan Punilal. Headquarters Commissioner, Scouts, Cop Scouts, sorry, Ms. Cheryl Walker Lewis. Headquarters Commissioner, for diversity and inclusion, Mr. Errol Lewis. Leaders, parents, scouts, viewing public, and well-wishers, welcome. My name is Kyle Doman, and I am the Master of Ceremonies for this morning's ceremony. So I now welcome Mr. Lindy Lachmedial, the San Fernando District Commissioner, who will bring greetings on behalf of the San Fernando District. Thank you. Present good morning to Mr. Mark Ainsley John, National Scout Commissioner, members of the head table, deputy and deputies, scouting public. On behalf of the San Fernando District Council, I can bring greetings to you and welcome you to the San Fernando, the home of the San Fernando District Scout Council. On this Founders Day, 
And this one today is a special one to us as we have it live on National Community. Also, remember, I remember the, the Founders Day parade. We, we know what we have, but today we're not having it. But Founders Day is an important day for us because it's the birthday of ba Lord Baden, Robert Lord Baden Powell. He was born on the 22nd, so tomorrow is the year's birthday. But as, as we usually do, every Sunday closest to the 22nd, we are going for a function. So I'd like to bring you greetings um, again to the national community, the Cubs, Scouts, Rangers Scouts, Rovers, and all those who are listening, that we in San Fernando, I'd like to wish you all the best and congratulate you on this event. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lachmedia. So right now, we have a special song by one of our Cub Scouts from the San Fernando District, Mr. Darian McDonald from First San Fernando Boys RC Cup Band. The name of the song is COVID Anthem. It is my privilege to announce and to let you know as part of our diversity and inclusion initiatives at Scouts TT, today we have with us an interpreter, Ms. Naomi Rodriguez. So moving right along with our program, we would like to move into a bit of a spiritual segment where we have some messages from various faiths. Firstly, we'd like to welcome Mulana Azhad Ahmed Ali on behalf of the Islamic community. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. May the peace, blessings, and salutations of God Almighty be abundantly showered upon each and every one of you today. Alhamdulillah. All praise is due to God, Lord of all the worlds. Thee alone do we worship, and thee alone do we ask for help. Indeed, I am elated to join with you, the scouting fraternity of Trinidad and Tobago, in commemoration and celebration of Founders Day and Thinking Day. As a Muslim, 
I indeed commend the efforts of the scouting fraternity of Trinidad and Tobago in their mission and their promise to uphold the laws of God Almighty, the duties of the country, to the duties of others, and the laws of scouts. When I was asked to speak to you today, I was a little bit confused as to what should I speak about. So I did a little bit, I started to do a little bit of research concerning the aim and the objective and the promise and the logo and the motto of the scouts. And it dawned upon me that a lot of these things are actually found in Islam. And a lot of these things as Muslims we are taught in the Quran and by the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that we should be doing these things. But today I would like to speak to you about one aspect that the product or those who have gone through the processes of the scouting fraternity they have achieved and that is a sense of morality and a sense of character. The Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is reported to have mentioned in a hadith whereby he says Indeed, I was sent to teach you how to perfect your character and your morality. And in addition to all the life skills that are taught by the scouts, one of the things that stood out to me as a Muslim is this sense of morality that is being introduced and being taught to its participants and in a society where we have somewhat of a disintegration of morals values it is imperative that organizations such as scouts and others of the likeliness are taking the initiative to ensure that they are training the minds of young individuals so that they can be ups, upholding citizens and more over than that how to be proper human beings and if this can be done at a communal level a community level a country level and at a global level i firmly believe that the future of our youths are very bright and it will make a huge difference in the society that we have today so i commend the efforts of all those who are directly and indirectly responsible for these types of organizations in particular scouts and all those members who have gone before who made and laid the foundation for you all to have such a beautiful institution as what you have today and on behalf of myself and on behalf of the muslim community we would like to join with you and pray with you that this organization continues to be a beacon of hope a beacon of light and a beacon of guidance for our youths and for all those who are participants of this said organization. So I thank you once again for granting me this opportunity and these few moments to join with you today. I hope whatever I have said is beneficial firstly to myself and to you, the larger audience. And I hope one day we can meet face to face and we can enjoy the presence of one another. And I pray that God Almighty keeps us safe protects you and your family during this time of the COVID-19. And I would like to leave you with Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace of God Almighty be abundantly showered upon each and every. Thank you. Next, on behalf of the Hindu community, we have Mr. Craig Sibu. Jai Sitaram, everyone. Firstly, let me wish each and every one of you all a happy Founders Day. Today we are celebrating over 100 years of scouting in our land of Trinidad and Tobago, and that is indeed a great feat for us all. 
So as we begin, let us all clasp our hands and ask God's blessings on our founding fathers and our movement so that we can continue to grow from strength to strength. Let us pray. Om Shri Ganeshaya Namaha Om Aim Saraswate Namaha Om Shri Guru Charanakamala Bhyo Namaha Asatoma Sadgamaya Tamasoma Jyotirgamaya Mrityorma Amritam Gamaya O God, we ask that you lead us from untruth to truth. Lead us from darkness to light and lead us from mortality to immortality. Om Shanti, 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 Hari Om. Rally the Troops This year we have been given the theme Rally the Troops and our Shastras and our Vedas would have given this beautiful line as well. Sanghe Shakti Kali Yuge which translates to in the age of Kali Yuga, this thing called Sangha or meeting or unity is where power really lies. So we are going to ask ourselves, over the years we met in our troops, we had so many activities, so many hikes, so many you know group activities that we would have done. But why did we meet and what was the purpose? First of all, we look at our scout promise. I promise that I will do my best to do my duty to God and to my country, to help other people and to keep the scout law. If we look at this, we see underlying is respect for each and every country and every citizen, and we see as well selflessness. And our Shastras and Sanatan Dharma preaches to be selfless. If we look at Ramayana, it says, Siya Ram mein sab jagajani. It says we see God in each and everything in this world and because of that we have respect and we revere and we be humble to each and everything in this world. And this is what our scouting movement teaches. Look at these seven laws. Starts off with being trusted. All these things show to have good morals and values. And that is what we try to inculcate in our scouting movement the morals and values upon which our society must exist. And now that we as a troop and we as a movement would have inculcated these morals and values within each and every one of us, we are now to extend it to our society. And that is why we say Sanghe Shakti Kali Yuge. Rally the troops. We must rally our troops. We must tighten our forces and we must become even more fervent in our purpose and our resolve. If we look at our society today, a society that is written with crime, a society that has so much negatives in it, we must be these lights, we must be the candles going out to illumine the darkness that exists in our society. And that is why this saying has Kali Yuge. Kali Yuge does not only mean a period in time of Hinduism and Hindu theology, but it also means a period whereby there is darkness all around. Not literal darkness, but we see so many negative forces and we so see so much crime. If you look at our society recently, so much gender-based violence. And we see we as a troop and we as a movement need to come together. Yes, one person may fail, but if we stand as a movement, even if we fail, we have that strength within each other. That it says, it says Shakti. Sanghe Shakti Kali Yuge. And this is what we need to do. So as we have celebrated so many years of scouting in our land, it is my humble prayer that our movement will move from strength to strength, that we can truly make a change in our land of Trinidad and Tobago that we already have made, and we can continue to do the good work that we have been doing. So as we close, we ask God, may you continue to bless us and continue to bless our troops. Oh, Samastha Lokaha Sukhino Bhavantu. May the entire world be happy. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Thank you.
Thank you. Next, on behalf of the Christian community, we have Mr. Mikhail Ramla. Good day, my brothers and sisters. As we come together on our Father's Day 2021, let us rally the troops by praying. Please ask you the position of prayer. O oh Lord, may the time be not too distant when all your children will understand that they are brothers and sisters, that they are one in the spirit and one in fellowship, and may they be forever united before you. Then your kingdom will be established on him, on it, and the word of your prophet shall be fulfilled. The Lord will reign forever and ever. Amen. Today my scripture is taken from Ephesians chapter 6 verse 17 to 18 and it says and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints in this passage Paul speaks to the church about putting on the whole armor of God so that we will be protected from the darts of the enemies. The full armor of God that Christians are called to put on compromises of the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the gospel of peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the spirit. Each one of us have this, can have this armor, but we must have the right attitude and have faith and obey instructions from the Lord. We need to Pray and persevere. Perseverance here means to persist or endure the elements that are against you. As Lord Baden Powell said in a difficult situation, one never failing guide is to ask yourself, what would Christ have done? Then do it as nearly as you can. As scouts, we should not give up easily. We need to be more like Christ, to stand our ground, continue pressing on and looking towards the mark that is set before us. Christ never gave up or gave in, regardless of the situation that is before him. He never said, this is bigger than I am. When we work as a troop and put our training into practice, we will be equipped to handle difficulties. When they arise, we should remember to stand firm in our beliefs, to stand firm in our scout law, to be prepared to always do our best for our good and our troop. As scouts, we need to rally together during these trying times of the COVID virus. During the global pandemic, thousands of people, both young and old, have lost their lives. And millions have been affected. Now, more than ever, it is important that we as scouts rally around each other and our troops. Show our scout values and support one another. I know it's hard and tough due to us not having any physical meetings. But we can still encourage one another through phone calls, WhatsApp messages, virtual meetings, and other social media platforms that our parents allow. We can research out we can reach out as a troop to other troops in the district and even other troops and encourage each other to be courageous and persevere when we are tempted. The most effective weapon that God has given us as a believers is the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Ask yourself, what do your leaders want from us all as a troop? I think they would want us to be us as scouts, obedient, loyal, self-disciplined, trustworthy, courteous, helpful, reverent, and clean in all our thoughts, words, and deeds. These are also qualities that Christ's servants have. Focus on your duty to God and to your country. As we have seen in Trinidad and Tobago over the past two weeks, people are standing together, rallying around each other, communities united for one common goal, that is to protect the women in our country. I say to you, my fellow scouts, we need to rally the troops and let the world know that scouting is alive. And we scouts are intent on making our world a better place for everyone. Lord Baden Powell said, Try to leave this world a little bit better than you found it, and when your turn comes to die, you can die happy and feeling that at any rate, you have not wasted your time, but gave your best. Let us rally the troops and do our best. Let us pray. 
O Lord, we thank you for the work of Sir Robert Baden Powell, who in his dedication and wisdom founded the World Scouting Movement, a movement we are all proud to be a part of. We thank you for the efforts of those thousands of men and women who have volunteered their time as leaders and brought scouting to millions of boys and girls around the world. We thank you for our parents for their involvement and support in the scouting movement. We rededicate ourselves to the principle, principle of our movement, to do our best, to do our duty to God and to our country. We ask you, Lord, to give us the strength and courage for each of us to live up this, to the scout oot, the scout law, and the high ideals of the world brotherhood of scouting. Amen. Thank you for your words of encouragement from the Islamic, Christian, and Hindu community. So right now, moving along the program, we have a special by Messiah, who will be doing something on our national instrument. So please help me welcome him to the stage. Thank you, Messiah. So moving along, it is my privilege to welcome to you our newly elected National Scout Commissioner, Mr. Mark Ainsley John, who will now bring us greetings. Welcome. Good morning, everyone. Your Excellency, Paul Weeks, President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, Deputy National Scout Commissioners, Kirk John Batiste, Gerald Desnard, District Commissioner, South Mountain District, Mr. Lily Lodge Media, parents, well wishers, supporters, rovers, venture scouts, Scouts and Cub Scouts. Good morning. Happy Founders Day. On August 1st, 1907, 20 young men gathered to participate in an experimental scout camp on Brown Sea Island, England. These 20 were from various social and economic backgrounds and were specifically chosen in an attempt to bridge the gaps in society. The far-reaching effect of this experiment was the development of what would later become the Scout Movement. In fact, this progressiveness of thought and action has been a main current throughout the 112 years of existence of scouting. It is the success of this early scout camp that led to the publication of the book Scouting for Boys in 1908 and the eventual birth of the scout movement in England that same year. Today, we come together at this Founders Day service as part of the camp program for annual commemoration of National Founders Day. We do so with the 54 million other scouts and guides across 
the 171 countries where scouting exists. We have come to honor and recall not only the name Lord Robert Stevenson Smith Baden Powell, or BP, as he was fondly called for giving us this movement, but also to recognize the individuals who would have contributed to ensuring that this scout movement continues to exist. Those of us here today, listening and streaming via the internet, who have been in the scout movement for some time now, will instinctively recognize and understand why we place special emphasis on honoring our founder. Those watching from the outside might tend to believe that we honor BP simply because we are scouts. The truth is that we honor the memory of our founder as a living, breathing stream that moves through us. Being a scout means practicing the principles, beliefs, and values by which we live daily. It is not things that we do when we have time or when the mood fancies. Scouting is something that fills not only our daily existence, but every fiber of our being. Founders Day is that recognition that our names come from our ancestors, but from our honor comes our virtues. It is because of BP that we, the leaders, are able to give young people the tools they need to solve everyday challenges while building a strong civil society. For instance, many of us have presented, worn, or seen others with badges on their uniform. As Lord Baden Powell stated, badges are intended as an encouragement to a young person to take up a hobby or occupation which may offer him a career for life. As we walk through the history of Founders Day celebrations of the Scout Movement, we observe a trend of change and innovation in our delivery of program activities as we continue to engage young people and all supporters of the Scout Movement. Since we were last gathered together in celebration of Founders Day, quite a lot has changed for us. We have been forced to take steps away from each other and adapt some of our traditions. We have even had to dispense with or defer some scouting customs. We have been forced to become innovative in order to honor our motto, be prepared. When our founder, Lord Baden Powell visited Trinidad in 1930. A scout rally was held in the grounds of Queen's Royal College in Port of Spain. It was at this rally, and it was the first time that loudspeakers and a public address system were used in Trinidad, and this helped BP to spread his message to young people. This weekend, a similar revolution involving the use of technology to interact with young people is happening. We are currently in the middle of our very first virtual scout camp. I thank and congratulate the many young people and their supporters, as well as the scout leaders who have aided us in this adaptation, which allows us to work towards keeping the scout movement alive. Without your support, we would not exist tomorrow. Today, I urge all leaders to let the memory of our dear founder, Lord Robert Stevenson Smith Baden Powell, BP as he is so fondly called, refresh you so that you have a renewed vigor to achieve the task to which you have dedicated yourselves. I'm sure that as we work towards this recharging of our scout spirit, our efforts with the young people will reach the heights prescribed for us by a founder. As I close, I recall the African proverb which says that a man never dies 
once his name is called. Just as we continue to keep BP alive by calling his name and holding annual tributes for his birthday, February 22nd, I believe that we should keep alive those who have worked towards ensuring the continued growth and development of the Scout Movement in Trinidad and Tobago. Permit me, therefore, to call a few names of those who have gone home but have made invaluable and indelible contribution to me reaching this far in my scouting journey. Today, I remember, honor, and pay personal homage to the following persons. Mr. Gerald Smith, former Group Scout leader, first Aruka Air Scouts. Mr. Robin Babulal, former District Commissioner of the Cedros District. Mai Akela, Valerie Spencer, first Marabella Kupak, who introduced me to the Scout movement at the age of five. My friend and mentor, Akela Francisca Wilson, Headquarters Commissioner and Honorary Commissioner who recognized the spark in me and nurtured and encouraged it. Akela Eunice James, leader trainer, who in 1999 at the start of my leadership journey told me that her vision for me was that one day I would be National Scout Commissioner. And Mr. Victor Lynch, Executive Commissioner with whom I would spend many hours learning about the early days of the Scout movement. May their souls rest in peace. As National Scout Commissioner, I stand on the shoulders of all those who have lifted and supported me, and I promise that I would do my best to ensure that we are all lifted and buoyed as we work towards the greater happiness of all and the honor and glory of our country. Good hunting. Thank you, our National Scout Commissioner, Mr. Mark Ainsley John. Next, we have a dance special by two young ladies from First Aruka Air Scouts, Delia and Daniil Wilson. City skies feeling dark tonight. We're back to back with our heads down. Just look at me, give me more tonight. Just give me more of your love now. Let's set fire to the lonely night. You're beautiful when you look at me. Let's give love another life. You'll be safe in these arms of mine Just call my name on the edge of the night And I'll run to you I'll run to you me to just give me some kind of reason i would take the pain take it all away we'll give it some kind of meaning let's let go let it be the star you know i'm feeling the same thing let's let go of a broken heart because you'll be safe
I run to you. Wow, that was a heartwarming performance. Thank you. So next, we would like to welcome our chief scout, the President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, Her Excellency Paula May Weeks, to bring us greetings. Scouters, leaders, and other supporters of the Scout Movement, greetings. As Chief Scout, I am honored and pleased to join you in commemorating Founders Day, a celebration of the birthday, vision, and legacy of Lord Baden Powell, the founder of the Scout Movement. It is a golden opportunity to reflect on the many memories, milestones, and adventures of your scouting journey and to recharge for the road ahead. This year's festivities are a marked departure from the usual flurry of activities that take place on and around Founders Day. But I am confident that this new format will in no way detract from the true significance of the occasion. Instead of the customary in-person route marches, church services and other ceremonies, your experience this year will be in a family setting and include a mix of online, in-house and outdoor activities all delivered virtually, which will enable you to absorb in real time or on demand all that camp has to offer. No sphere of society, including the scouting fraternity, has been left unscathed by the coronavirus pandemic. From March last year, your camps, jamborees and customary events were either cancelled or postponed in keeping with the ever-evolving COVID-19 guidelines. I am proud to see that you, how you have adapted to the new normal and how scouts individually, in discrete groups and as a collective have played their part in creating a better world, even as we are being ravaged by the virus. You have not been idle. Many of you joined in online challenges, others provided meals for the socially displaced, some assisted in planting fruit trees, while yet others clapped and showed other signs of support for our frontline workers. Bravo! Operating under COVID restrictions would no doubt have been a daunting prospect, especially for your leaders, but it has also provided a good opportunity to be creative and rethink all ways of doing business. Scouts have participated in online training and mentoring sessions, virtual races, campfires, and other adventures via distance. Like lone scouts, Unable to be physically present with your troop, you have been called upon to fulfill your scouting promise even while isolated and apart from your brothers. You have created your own emergency alert system, participated in virtual 5Ks, meetings and other activities and now your first ever virtual camp, which will hopefully re-energize the intrepid scouting spirit that dwells in each of you. Perhaps my position in the scout movement, honorary though it be, makes me a little biased. But I believe that the non-formal, values-based scout movement has prepared our young people ideally for such a time as this. A time that requires flexibility, pluck, hard work, and looking out for each other. Woven deep into the scouting ethos is the commitment to developing moral strength and character citizenship values, and physical, mental, and emotional fitness, a firm foundation upon which a life of productivity, integrity, and personal responsibility can be built. A journey through the scouting movement instills in its eager young voyagers practical life skills, as well as character building qualities, including good communication, teamwork, and leadership, all contributing to a disciplined, tolerant, and productive citizen of Trinidad and Tobago. I consider all of you to be part of a grand and noble tradition that has contributed significantly to the development of this country. Many outstanding citizens have walked this road before, including former President Sir Ellis Clark, Olympian Manny Ramjohn, and the Archbishop of Port of Spain, Charles Jason Gordon. They, like you, 
took to heart the scouting values of duty to God, country, and self. I hope you notice that I'm wearing my brand new scarf, and I encourage you to continue to wear your uniform with pride. Hold fast to your principles. Be beacons of hope and light in your families and communities. Seek out and rally around those who may need encouragement or other assistance. As, according to Mahatma Gandhi, the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. Our nation would benefit immensely from a generous dose of scouting optimism and activism. Leaders and supporters of the scouting movement, I thank and applaud you for the yeoman service that you have rendered in nurturing, motivating, and guiding the young people of the nation. As the largest youth organization in Trinidad and Tobago, Scouts TT is uniquely poised to prepare the next generation for our very uncertain future. I note with pleasure the appointment of a diversity and inclusion coordinator who is currently working towards ensuring that differently abled members of the national community can participate in the scouting movement. I urge you to continue adjusting and expanding your capacity and program offerings in keeping with the shifting social, economic and environmental issues that confront our young people who must be adequately equipped to truly revolutionize Trinidad and Tobago and the world. In the words of Lord Baden Powell, life without adventure is deadly dull. Have an exciting, safe and happy Founders Day. Thank you, Madam President. Next, we have a dance special by Caitlin Swaron from 31st Trinidad Scouts Group. Hi, my name is Caitlin Swaron, and I am from 31st Trinidad Sea Scouts. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. Thank you, have a wonderful day. Amazing touch of color and culture. Next, I'd like to welcome our headquarters commissioner for Venture Scouts, Mr. Krishan Pumila, who will take over for the presentation of some awards. I'd like to invite our national scout commissioner, Mr. Mark Ainsley John, to present the awards to our President Scouts Awardees this morning. Our first awardee this morning is Miss Melody Wilson from First Aruka Air Scout Group. Ms. Wilson is receiving this morning the President's Scout Award. This is the highest award in our Venture Scout section. Next, we have Mr. Jonathan Gonzalez 
from First Aruka Air Scout Group. Mr. Gonzalez is also receiving this morning the President's Scouts Award. Next, we have Mr. Shiraz Ali from First Naparima College Sea Scout Troop. Mr. Ali is receiving this morning the President's Scout Award. Our final awardee this morning is Mr. Tariq Narsis from the second Freeport Sea Scout Group. Let's give a round of applause for what is this morning. I'd like to ask our National Scout Commissioner to remain on stage for the presentation of warrants to our newly appointed Jeopardy National Scout Commissioners. Firstly, we have Mr. Retired Lieutenant Command Kirk Jabatis, Jeopardy National Scout Commissioner Operations. Next, we have Dr. Jarell Besnax, Deputy National Scout Commissioner Program. Thank you, National Scout Commissioner. I, I now pass you over to Mr. Doman, who will continue this morning's proceedings. Thank you. So this morning is about to come to an end, and it is my privilege to now read to you a vote of thanks. Firstly, we'd like to thank Almighty God for all that he has done. Secondly, we'd like to thank the Chief Scout, the President of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, Paula May Weeks. We'd like to thank the management and staff of the Scout Association of Trinidad and Tobago. We'd like to thank the Scout District for housing, for hosting us here today. We'd like to thank Ms. Naomi Rodriguez and the Trinidad and Tobago Association for the hearing in here for her interpretation services, friends, families, and supporters of scouting, leaders and scouts for maintaining the spirit of scouting during these times, and anyone that assisted with preparing and executing this ceremony this morning. On behalf of our Scouts CT, thank you. And just before we close, I'd like to welcome our National Scout Commissioner, Mr. Mark A. C. John, who will lead us in the recital of our promise.
outside. I promise that I will do my best to do my duty to God and to my country, to help other people and to keep this culture.